that's special for our, for, for our elder and all of them. Amen. A little light skin baby. That's a blessing. AdamandBeliever.com forward slash model citizen dot pdf. This isn't going to take me long. It can't take me long. Model citizen. <laughs> Amen. This is going to bless you. So if you're going to be a model citizen, a model citizen, y'all know what a model home is? When you go look at a model home, they're basically showing you the potential of the home. Right? The potential, what the home could be. They fix it up, fashion it right, and everything, and it becomes the model. And if you, you know, make good choices or whatever, you can have, you can make your house look like the model. Well, that's what a model citizen is in the kingdom. We're supposed to be models or examples to the world of what it is to be in Christ. So we aren't just citizens of God's kingdom, but we should be model citizens of God's kingdom. Amen. Reflecting him in a way where people want to look like we look. Amen. That's why I'm so upset with the church. You know, you ain't supposed to let the world come and show your church what to look like. Why do the young boys slang their hair like the rappers? And the holiness church used to stand against that. Now they the ones, oh, they, I mean, every dude in the church got braids, twists, plaits, beads. Yeah, that's hip hop. Man, I, I, see, let me, I don't even want to teach this message because it's just, because it's going to come out and then I'm going to miss my plane. But that's hip hop. I tried to warn them that's going to come in your church. If you don't stand against the look of it, you, gonna, you can't stand against the spirit of it. The spirit comes with the look. The spirit induces the look. You look up and all your boys got long hair in your church, the spirit is there. They wearing earrings, the spirit is there. Everybody getting tatted up, the spirit is there. Yeah. Girls look like hoochies. Spirit is there. And if you to pass this, your fault. Amen. Because you didn't preach against it. People don't know what to do unless you preach against it. You shut the truth out of there for convenience. Yeah. And now we've lost a losing a generation of black males. See them walking around them all and different things. They, they, you know, just looking like animals. Yeah. We're supposed to be the examples. The models. Amen? And it starts with the way you look. Don't try to say, well, come as you is. It starts with the way you look. Amen. Amen. Young boy CJ Bryan, they in his class and stuff. Jay looks always looks dapper. He dresses like a gentleman. Amen. And that's what they all our young boys in here look like gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you let them look different and don't stand up to your wife. She the one fashion them like that. Yeah, don't no real man want his son wearing their rings. Not no real man. He don't want that. He don't want his son's hair braided up. Not no real man. That's woman stuff. Yeah, that's how they used to do the little black girls. Borets and beads and rubber bands and plaits and twists and braids. Why do boys look like that now? Because the strong man is bow. Let me get to this message. I, uh, model citizens have respect for their authorities. If you're going to be a model citizen, you got to have respect for your authorities. Philippians 3 and 17 says, Brethren, be followers together of me. 
and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. That means you mark the leadership so you'll have the leadership as a model. Amen. He said, be followers together of me. Somebody would have a problem with that in 2023. Oh, no, I'm supposed to follow, follow the Lord. Yeah, you follow the Lord through the man of God. Is that not scripture? Authorities in your life. The first authority in your life is God. Follow the leading of the Holy Spirit as it lines up with the word of God. God is your first and foremost authority. But remember, he is represented in the earth by people. Mm -mm. Somebody jaws tightened up on that. So when I said God, that's right. Yep, that's my authority, God. But he's represented by people. Oh, well, you know. I don't follow people now. First Peter 2 and 21, for even hereunto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us a what? Example. An example that ye should follow his steps. That's why he came as a man, to show you how men should walk. Then he selected men to walk with him so they could carry out his steps once he was gone. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pastors, prophets, teachers, evangelists, apostles. These are all authorities in your life. Follow those that follow God and line up with the word of God. God has called these offices to represent him and his authority in the earth. You must be able to see and hear God through his chosen vessels in order to follow his leading. Did y'all hear that? Yeah. Ephesians 4 and 11. And he gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers for the what? Perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry and for the edifying of the body of God. Christ relationships you have authorities in your relationships this is how it goes men cover your wives because you're your wives authority and leave your home cover your wives and leave your home women submit to the authority of your husband because he's your authority let's let me hear just a loud of a clap don't get no, no, no. Don't patty cake. That's what old folks say. Don't and clap that thing. <laughs> Bless people that curse you and love those that hate you. What a clap. Look at that. Boy, boy, boy. Get along with people. See, when you curse people, you'll curse a leader. If you curse people that make you upset, you'll curse a leader that upsets you. And when you do that, you curse your life. Remember what happened to Miriam with Moses? Went to talking that yin yang. Got leprous. Because that was God's chosen leader. He told him, he said, I pick who I want to pick. And whoever I pick, you obey. Amen. That's what he told them. He done married out of the family. He done married somebody that we don't approve of. God said, look at your hand, girl. <laughs> well, get along with people to the best of your ability. In order to be a citizen in heaven, you must first be a model citizen in the earth. Amen. Amen. Romans 12 and 18, if it be possible as much as lieth in you, do what? Live peaceably with all men. You know, sometimes living peaceably with folks that are cantankerous, it requires you to just not say anything. That's peaceably. That's what I do. I just don't say nothing. That's peace to me. Anybody that'll keep arguing with themselves, something wrong with them anyway. You didn't get me caught up in that, Rukas. <laughs> Model citizens must avoid certain ones. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 
be not deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. If you're a model citizen, you can't be around folks that are anti your model. That's not your crowd. Those aren't your friends. Those aren't the people you spend time with. You, if, if you can't influence them, you're getting influenced. Model citizens must avoid bad company. Greedy and carnal people will always put their own desires before God's plan for them. They will pray and stamp God on what they want to do. Their dreams, passions, plans, and goals all come before their creation role and God's will for their lives. You hanging around for folks that are anti-creation role, they gonna mess up your creation role. They'll paint a picture, they will paint a picture to make you envious of them. And you was doing right. Philippians 3 and 19. Whose end is destruction and whose God is their belly and whose glory is in their shame. And they mind what? Earthly, earthly things. Their God is their belly, meaning they have an appetite for earthly things. Yeah. And that is their God. Somebody that is just striving to be great in the earth. Those who gossip, slander, tear down others while claiming Christ are trying to seem spiritual. They are clouds without rain, according to the Bible. That's just a waste of clouds. These are people that are desperate for a ministry or calling of God, but cannot bear good fruit. Some people, God just didn't call them. But they don't believe it. They don't believe it. They can't bear fruit. Everything they do ends in disaster. Man, everything they do ends in disaster because they are spiritual wrecking balls. God, they supposed to be under somebody, but they want to be over somebody. God hates those who sow betrayal, schisms, and strife against one another. Avoid these. Look at somebody say, avoid these people. Avoid these people at all costs because they will rob you of peace and blessing. Yes. Jude 12. These are spots in your feast of charity when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Clouds they are without water, carried about of winds. Trees whose fruit withers without fruit. Fruit is dead twice. Plucked up by the roots. Got to avoid bad, look at somebody say avoid bad company. Avoid worldly minded people. Amen. 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 Worldly minded people. If all your friends ain't saved, you probably not. These are those that desire to please men and gain popularity rather than stand for truth in the face of adversity. People that compromise their stance for money, power, or prestige will compromise your relationship with them in a heartbeat for greater gain. You're around somebody that's overly ambitious, always trying to make it and get power and money, they're going to cut your throat. Yeah, nothing will stop them. God's model citizens just don't operate this way. When people are selfish, narcissistic, arrogant, and prideful, they are operating under the power of Satan for self-glory and not to exalt God. This is the problem we have in many of the churches. Many of them, not all of them, but many. They watch TV and they watch preachers brag about jets and plain money and big houses and putting pictures of the houses and why would a preacher put a picture of his house on, on the internet? Filming themselves, driving cars, and then they try to make like that's godliness. And if you don't have it, you're doing something wrong. So this caused people to start churches with that MO. They start churches and the offering 
is longer than the service. Right. Second Peter 2 and 18 says, For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, talking about what they have, they allure through the lust of the flesh. Well, that's powerful. Yeah. Yeah. So when they speak all of this, you can have this and God wants you to have this and you should have this and if you give and sow that seed, God is going to do this and that and this. They're speaking great swelling words of vanity. They're alluring people through the lust of the flesh. You got a church full of people that's there because of the lust of the flesh. What their flesh wants. People didn't come here to work. They came to get what their flesh wants. Through much wantingness, those that were clean escaped from them who live in error. It's much wantingness. Folk just want. They come into church because they want. The prayer is about what y'all want. The songs are about what you want. Yeah. You turn on the white C CCM station. They singing about the Lord. His goodness, his greatness. God is great. He's wonderful. Turn to the Kurt Franklin praise channel. And it's about us. He's going to do this. He's going to do that. He said he's going to give me. Give me, give me, give me. Give me this. Give me that. Boy, I'm trying not to put part 14 all in this message, but it's the truth anyhow. Yeah, sick of that. Coming to church, always talking about us. Church ain't supposed to be about us and what we going to get. Miracle is here. Your season is to... Yeah, what about God's season? What is about his season of judgment? What about his season, or his season of his return? Can we talk about his greatness and his goodness? Folks ain't clapping, amen, but that's okay. Model citizens must endure hardships. Yeah, hardships. The model home, folk come in there, and they're going to find something wrong with it. <laughs> you got to endure hardships. 2 Timothy 3 and 12 says, Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus is going to what? You're going to suffer persecution. Mm, mm, mm. They better leave Christians alone. Y'all see what the weather is doing over there with the, with the Muslim, in Muslim land? They got all the plagues of Egypt happening. The bugs, the rain, thunder, lightning striking buildings, earthquakes. And Allah ain't showed up yet. <laughs> Allah! He ain't coming. He ain't coming. Was that racist? I don't care. He ain't coming. He ain't coming. You're going to endure hardships. <laughs> As the end approaches, kingdom citizens will be rejected by the masses and shunned by those that have yielded. 
to the new world order. However, these testings and trials are formation of the great divide between God's church and the world. So do not be, look at somebody say, do not be dismayed. But rejoice because the separation on earth must come before the separation of the rapture occurs. All God is doing is getting this path together. I'm going to come up this way. So I need those to the left and those to the right. The Bible says, let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come except there come first or what? Falling away. So the line has got to be drawn first. Man, I'm preaching in here. The devil will use those that desire fame, fortune, and popularity to betray their own loved ones for gain. Friends will turn on those that they claim to love. Family will betray one another and fight against those that love them enough to speak truth to them. People will try to destroy others because of the truth they stand for. But as a model citizen, you must stand strong and endure. 2 Timothy 2 and 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. In order to endure hardness or hardships, you must be a selfless citizen. That's the problem. You can't endure anything if you're selfish. If you're thinking about you and what you're going to get, what you can do and what you're trying to be, that's selfish. You can't endure because all the devil has to do is interrupt that. I'm preaching, yeah. Your path to success, your plan, your dream, your all that you got, all the devil got to do is interrupt it. And you're going to turn on everybody if that's where your heart is. So to endure hardship, you got to take your heart out of the world. That's the only way we're going to make it, Elder. That's the only way we're going to make it. We got to take our heart out of the world. If we're in love with the world, then they can use the world to manipulate us. What could the king do to John the Baptist? Jesus the, the, God rose up the greatest prophet that has ever lived put him in the wilderness and let him survive off bugs yes. so nobody could stop him right. they come and say John you better stop or we gonna arrest you and put you in prison good I get to eat some real food let's go let's do that I like that what you gonna do with him What you gonna do with Daniel? Daniel said, I ain't eating the king's meat. Matter of fact, I'm gonna eat vegetables and I'm gonna be just as big as the rest of you when I'm done. You can't do nothing with nobody like that. No, I ain't praying to your God. We're gonna put you in this line then. Okay, let's go. What, what can you do? Uh, he, he, he wanna go. <laughs> He's sitting in the line there and they peeking down at me looking like, like what? Like what? You ready to lift me up? That's how we have to be in this time. That's how you have to be in this time. You can't be tied to nothing in the world because they'll use that to pull you back. You got to be able to cut ties with anything. Take it. Do it. I don't care. Tell them. Say it. Whatever. got an agenda you're trying to move up in the hierarchy of the organization and all that they make you do anything can't cut ties when you no longer care about what others say about you or do to you then the enemy loses power against you I know I'm preaching I'm preaching my personal testimony I've seen it happen you don't care about what people say or do to you, then you just took the devil's power of that away. The only reason it hurts is because you care. When you realize that people want to hurt 
or harm you because they themselves are unhappy with their own lives. You find grace and pity for them. And that releases you from their burden. <laughs> Forgive them and die to yourself. God sees all and will deal with them accordingly, but you must endure. Follow your orders and maintain your stand in this very last hour. Amen. Matthew 24 and 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. If you make it to the end. Summary! All the messages need to be this short. <laughs> Thank y'all for that. The line is drawn. The time has come. No more wondering how the end is going to play out. It's playing out right before our eyes. Everything that God said would happen before Jesus returned is happening. We are seeing it all. Earthquakes, hail, thunder, lightning, pestilence, disease, swarms, flies, food shortages, erratic weather patterns. It was 122 degree wind uh, uh, index yesterday. Heat index. 122! Told you to get out. They say get out the heat. It's bad for you. Three months of 100? You know how long I've lived in Texas? 54 years. It has never even come close to three months of 100. Never. Erratic weather patterns, floods, death, war, rumors of war, deception, fires. Deception, all of this are all biblical signs of the end times. But we that are good citizens of God's kingdom do not worry or fear what the earthly kingdoms are doing or saying. We are not threatened or fearful. Look at somebody say, don't be scared. Don't you be scared now. We know that Jesus Christ is our king. I was praying to the Lord. I said, Jesus, Jesus, you king. He said, who's king? I said, huh? I said, yeah, when they crucified Jesus, they called him king. So Kanye and this Jesus is king? There's a word missing. The enemy called him king. The ones that crucified him called him king. So whose king is he? Look at somebody say, he's my king. Jesus is our king. So quit that old Jesus is king. Now, whose king is he? Jesus is my king. There was a lot of kings. <laughs> All the kingdoms of this world will have to submit to him. And get this part. And us when he returns. The Bible said that if we suffer with him, we're going to reign with him. So we gladly follow his earthly authorities in our lives and we have no issue separating ourselves from those that are against him and we joyously endure all trials and hardships that come because our reward is to reign with him we are God's model citizens that just happen to live in the earth but the day is coming soon when we will go to our home in glory to live with him forevermore amen 2 Timothy 2 and 10 says, Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also <laughs> obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus 
with eternal glory. It is a faithful saying. For if we be dead with him, we shall also what? Live with him. And if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. But if we deny him, he also will deny us. Everyone stand to your feet. Y'all excuse me, I'm getting emotional because you know out of all that's happening in this world and everything, you know, it gets heavy. It gets heavy especially when people depend on you. And I got a lot of people that depend on me, which is fine. That's, that's who I'm called to be. But I'm human, and it gets heavy. Amen. Yes. Amen? Yes. It gets heavy. And it just gets heavy. But it ain't going to last always. <laughs> and look at somebody and say, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. When we get to judge the witches. It'll be worth it. Amen. Amen. Model citizens. God help me be a better model. Help me be a better model. If that's your prayer and you want prayer for that. God to help you with that. Just come on up real quick. Just make me a better model so I can be a better reflection. So when people see me, they don't see my emotions all the time. They don't see my mistakes my error all the time Lord make me a better me a model citizen a model citizen I don't want to be gossipy and messy I don't even want to do it for fun and then just just I don't want to be undependable unreliable I don't want to be late all the time. I don't want to have to do stuff. I want excellence in my life, my actions, the way I function. I want it to be excellent. Model citizen. Model citizen. Anyone else? Just bow your heads. Father God, we just thank you, Lord, for this message. Thank you, Father God, for your truth. Thank you, Father God, for just reminders of why we do what we do and why we have to do it. And Father, we just thank you, Lord, because we know that you speak to us each week through these messages, myself included. You teach us. And not only that, but you prepare us for things to come. Father, even on last Sunday, you had me speaking about shutdowns and all of that stuff. And the next day, CNN, CDC, and the US government began to put the plans for the next pandemic out. So God, you've always been one step ahead of the devil. And you've kept us informed. And you've kept us secure. And Father, we just pray right now that we can be, in this last hour, model citizens. To model your way, to model your morality, to model your standards, to model, Father God, the way you want things done in this last hour. So that when the dividing line comes, will be standing on the right side of it. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Bless our families, children, wives, husbands, uncles, aunts, just all over God. 
that we can be lights for them not argumentative but firm standing on your truth in Jesus name we pray amen amen I remember that dream I had four years ago, three years ago. And I think I told the church, I told y'all about driving down the freeway. And remember the left side was folks wearing church clothes. Dressed in church, it was church folks. And they were all dead. And God told me to get off and go right. I'm learning more and more what that dream meant. Because so many church people are completely left. I'm not talking about politically or just politically. I mean, even when they instituted the junk and said what they were going to do with the pandemic and all of that on, Sun on Monday, Wednesday, Greg Abbott passed a law where in Texas, they can't do none of that. Remember I said I was going to go pick him up? I said that Sunday. Now I really need to go get him. But that was Wednesday. Right after that, church folks went in on him. Black people and black church people. Hating his guts. And they can't tell you why. Fighting against a man trying to preserve their freedoms. They hate him. Wait, don't clap. Don't clap for them people. <laughs> that one almost got away from it. <laughs> don't clap for them. But they, 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 they hate this man. They want him to lose the election. Church people and black people. Why? It's an entity complex. All right. Hug your neighbors and tell them I'm a model citizen. I'm a model citizen. Look at him and say, God is still working on me. But I'm a pretty good model now. I'm a pretty good model. Amen. Model citizen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On your way to your seats. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, Elder. 